that have come to visit us today. Are you guys wanting to meet my special friend? Okay. Well, there's one special friend that might be a little bit nervous. So I think we need to be super quiet for them to come on out. All right? I would like for you to clap just a little bit for Rochester Fire Chief, Mr. Tom Butler. Come on out. Hello. Thank you, thank you, thanks for having me. Hello, boys and girls, how are you? I brought Sparky with me today, and Jack Hart, one of my uh, other volunteers. Hey, 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 you gotta let me in. Come on now. Come we don't want in, that's Chief Duron. They need me in there. Come on. I, I think they need you at the station, Chief. I'm going to bite. I'm getting in. Yippee ah! Woo! Woo! Man. All right, boys and girls, please welcome Chief Duron. It's like I wasn't on the list. Um, all right, Chief. Do you know what month this is, Chief? Why are we here today? For free cookies, right? No, we're not here for free cookies. This is October. This is Fire Prevention Month, so we're here to talk to the children about fire safety. Right, right, right. I know all about fire safety. You know all about fire safety. I know all about fire safety. All right, all right. Who here knows about fire safety? Everyone. Okay. Let me see if I get this right. When you guys are at school, if there's a fire drill, everyone gets really quiet, you stand up, you push your chairs in, you light up at the door, you wait for the teacher, you walk down the hallway, you all go out different doors all around the building, you go to special meeting spots, and you wait for the teacher to count you, and then the fire department shows up, right? Is that right? Okay. You go to the bathroom. No, you go out. You go outside. Okay. Okay. Show hey, it's who's done a fire drill at school? Everyone? Good job, good job. Okay, now, who's done a fire drill at home? For real, everyone's done a fire drill at home. Well, good for you, okay? Um, now, let me see if I get this right. Today's Wednesday, and tomorrow is the first day of fall break. Yeah. Who's ready for fall break? Students. I think the teachers win. Okay. What we're going to do, though, over fall break is I want you guys, I'm going to give you guys some homework, okay? This, this could be really fun. First of all, who can tell me what this is? I know, I know, I know. I know. Okay. That's the dinner bell. Supper is done when that goes off. Is that what happens at your house, Chief? Every night. Is that when you cook or Mrs. Chief cooks? When I cook. I, I, it's done. It's done. It is well done. Is that the way you like everything well done? Well, you either got to eat it or not eat it. What is this? It's a smoke detector. She's absolutely right. It, and what does it do? It beats. So what's that mean when it beats? Does that mean Chief's dinner's ready? Dinner's ready! It means, okay, it means there's a fire. So what do we do at home different than we do at school? At school we stand up and we walk out. Is that what we're going to do at home? Okay, so let's pretend it's 2 o'clock in the morning, Chief. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, Chief. I can do that. Okay. I need your guys' help, and we're gonna let Chief know if he, if he does this right. All right, you all tucked in? Want me to tuck you in? Yeah, thank you. All right, all right. Okay, so it's 2 o'clock in the morning. It's quiet. Okay, he's getting up. What is that? What's going on? What's he doing? Is he doing this right? Sparky, is he doing this right? Sparky says no. What's he need to do, boys and girls? Okay. I'm not sure. He, he, he needs to get out, right? But at, at home, we're going to do things different because where's smoke going to fire? Smoke goes up. So where is it safe for us to be? So how about rolling out of bed, getting your hands and knees 
and then looking for the door. Okay. Okay, you ready? Let's do this again. Roll! You need me to tuck you in again or are we good? Yeah, I'm good. All right. Okay, so here we go. Okay, roll out of bed. Roll out of bed. And then pop out. Now he's going to crawl. Looking for the door. He's going to find the door. Wait, wait, Chief. Can we just open the door up? Sparky says no. What do we need to do? You got to feel it, he says. All right. I'm feeling it. I don't back, feel nothing. With the back of your hand. Why? Because it's more sensitive. Okay. Is it hot? Not today. Not today. So I can go out. So you can go out, right? Can go out. He can go out if it's not hot, right? Okay. Chief, what about if it was hot? It burned your hand, and there was slowly smoke coming underneath the door. Then I, I blow. No, Chief. No, 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 no. Sparky's <laughs> pecking his eyes on that one. He had enough. What are we if gonna I can't go out the door, how do I get out? How are we going to get out? How about the window? Okay. Roll over the window. So and I'm just gonna jump out! Yeah, wait, wait. <laughs> Whose bedroom's on the second floor? We can't just jump out, can we? What do I have in my fire truck that I can gonna get you with? A ladder. So <coughs> if you just wait, you don't jump out, just wait by the window and yell for help. Help! And then when the fire department gets there, we'll come up help. and we'll We'll bring the light, we'll get you out. Okay, Chief. All right. Okay, now once we're out. Once we're out. Okay, we're outside. What do we do? We go to McDonald's. No. Burger <laughs> King? What? Chief. Right. Our house is on fire. All right. And you want to go to McDonald's. Okay, we'll go to Burger King. No, Chief. We're not going to Burger King. Don't you think we had to call the fire department? Call the fire department. Yep, yep. I was going to do that on the way to McDonald's. No, Chief. You need to stay in your house. Actually, you need to go to your special meeting spot outside your house so you can make sure that you and Mrs. Chief are both outside the house. Okay. Okay. Special meeting place. We can do that. Okay. Does anyone have a special meeting spot at home? It could be a mailbox. It could be a big rock. It could be the neighbor's porch. Could be the driveway, whatever it is, but everyone in the house needs to go there so we know everyone's out. Just like it's school, you guys all right up. So you go to your special needs spot. How do you call the fire department? Yell really, really loud. Fire department! Fire department! Okay, boy, boy, the girl. On three, I want you to tell him how we're going to call. One, two, three. We can't, okay. I heard it here. 911, that's exactly right. We're going to dial 911. And they're going to say, 911, what's your emergency? You're going to say, my house is on fire, okay? You got that, Chief? 911. 911 gets me the fire. Okay. okay. So, so we're outside. You forgot your stuffed zebra inside your bedroom. I forgot my what? Your stuffed zebra. Can you go back in your house? Sure. Can, can he go back in once he's outside? <laughs> Good job. But whose job is that? The fire department. Okay, I got fireman Jack Clark here with me. And he's going to show us why we can go in and I'm telling you to get out. So at the fire station, he's got his fire gear. He kicks off his shoes. He steps in his special fire gear. He steps in his boots. And we keep our pants right inside our boots so it's quicker. All we do is pull them up and we're ready to go. He's standing on his suspenders. All right. So he's going to get all that ready. So he's got a special hood on before he puts his jacket on. That's going to protect the back of his head and the top of his head when we get all our gear on. I'm going to grab his coat. Now, the reason we can go in because all this is made of special material. Okay, he's got steel toe boots so I can't crush his toes. He's got knee grippers. He's got knee pads so when he crawls in, he doesn't hurt his knees. 
and then the outside of our jacket is in our pants with any material. So if fire falls on it, it's going to burn. But as soon as we brush it off, it goes out. Now what happens if your shirt catches on fire? Can you just brush it off? No, it's going to continue to burn. Okay, and then we have we we'll get there. And then we've got insulation to help keep us cool, because inside the fire it can get hotter than the inside of mom's oven when she's making chocolate chip cookies. Mm. Alright, we're going to get all zipped up. Okay, now he's going to put on his, his air pack. We have a backpack. And inside the bottle is air that we can breathe. Because can we breathe smoke? We breathe smoke to choke. It will. So he's going to put on a, a backpack that has a, a bottle on it with air. And we can work inside the fire up to 45 minutes. Okay, here we go. If we normally do this when we're riding in the fire trucks, going from the fire station to the fire, we have, them, we have special seats in our trucks with the ear packs in the back so we get ready if we're going. You're going to get it all nice and tight. He's going to put his mask on and it's going to keep the smoke from getting in his eyes. And there's a nose cup that he's going to hook the hose up to that he can breathe through. He's going to tighten up to make sure there's no leaks because we don't want smoke getting inside. That little beeping you started to hear is an alarm. Um, we can't talk really loud when we have uh, all this gear on, so if a fireman gets in trouble, something hits him in the head, he gets knocked out, he runs out of air, he can't breathe, or he's not moving fast enough, that alarm goes off, so other firemen know that a fireman can tell. So it's the last thing you want to hear at a fire burn, but that lets us know that we got a guy in trouble. Okay, now he's going to hook up. And now he's breathing air. Sounds like Darth Vader. Wait, can you, you get close in and see? Sounds like Darth Vader. You guys hear him? That's hard to hear. But it, it's hard to talk, too, so. Yeah, yeah. all right. So he does sound like Darth Vader. He's going to put his helmet on and get all strapped in. I'm going to wiggle. All right. The fireman jacket looks scary. Even the mask on. Okay, you're right. That's just working here. That, that helps keep us safe. Help keep the smoke out of our eyes. So, and he's going to crawl in the same way I'm telling you guys to crawl out. So he's going to he's going to have his fire on. Him. Yeah, he's going to crawl in just like that. All right. Hey, fireman Jack, why don't you go down and get the first real high five and then come back up? Okay. Okay. See, that's going to be afraid of. Give him five. There you go. He can't get everyone. He can't get everyone, so. Okay. I need a uh, help. Oh, I was your help. You can help, too. You're still. No, no, okay. Can you get up here? Can you get up here? Good job. Okay. Okay. Good job, Fireman Jack. Okay, you want to take the gear off. Okay, your name is George. Okay, everyone, this is George. No. No, Ripley? Ripley, okay. Okay, Ripley, my name's Scott. Nice to meet you. And this is Chief Kudrow. George Ripley? No. Okay. Ripley? Okay, let me ask you this. Now, you guys talk about character at, at, at Zebra Zone a lot, right? And we know we're doing right and wrong, right? Okay, you like going to Manitoba Mountain? What? Have you ever been to Manitoba Mountain at the park? No? Yes. You have? Okay. Let's pretend you and I are friends. You're Ripley, and I'm... Tom Trouble, because I always get in trouble. And let's pretend we go down the slide. I go down the slide and I kick that gravel and I find this. What is that? That looks like fun. What is it? Who, what is it? It's a lion. A 
Right. right. Is this something we play with? No. Okay, so what should we do? Marry. No, we shouldn't marry it. Should we? Should we? It's part of it. What should we do? Should we tell our mom and dad? Yeah. Okay, so if you guys find a lighter at, at the park, at the house, do we pick it up and play with it? No. What can happen to us if we do? We can get on the fire. So let's pretend, Ripley, you and I are friends, and we're at Dan's home, and I find this. I say, Ripley, let's play with this. What are you going to tell me? No. Okay, good answer. Okay, but I'm going to go in that little tiki. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to light it. And I'm going to catch my hands on fire. What should I do? Start running! So you got to run! Show me a good stop drop and roll. Can you show me how to do one? Okay. Let's show me how to do stop drop and roll. Okay, you guys, and we'll sit down. We'll step back here. Step back here. Okay. What's the first thing we're going to do? We're going to stop. What's the second thing we're going to do? We're going to drop all the way down. Okay. All the way down. Okay. And then we're going to cover our face. Because we want to protect our eyes, then we're going to roll back and forth and yell, Help! Help! I'm on fire! Help! Roll back and forth! Come on, you guys gotta do it! Alright! Oh, he did it! Help! 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 Good job! Help! 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 Good job! Alright, good job! Give me a round of applause, bro. Good job! What do you think, Chief? What did you learn today? I learned that uh, the smoke detector is not a dinner bell. No, you're right. The smoke detector tells us the fire in the house. I learned that we have to have fire drills in our homes. Fire drills at our home, right? Have a meeting place outside the house, not at the garden. Correct. If I need the fire, police, ambulance, all I have to do is dial 911. Very good. Not to play with lighters or matches. Very good. And if I do accidentally catch my clothes on fire, I need to stop, drop, and roll, cover my face, and holler for it. Very good. Sparky, what do you think? You did a good job? All right. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right. Thumbs up. All right, boys and girls. Oh, over, over your fall break, please go home and do a fire drill. Talk to your mom and dad about it. Go to your bedroom. Practice rolling, crawling out of the house. Ask everyone to ask mom and dad to tell you where the special meeting's point is. Make them do the fire drill with you, okay? Because at 2 o'clock in the morning, you got to have a plan. All right. It's been really fun. I hope everyone has a great fall break. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thanks for having the Chief Hey, everybody. Hey, have a good job. Okay.
does what she is supposed to do no matter what is going on around her. This month's winner is Allison Callaway. For the month of November, 
you're going to have an electronic party. because we are really got a goal to shoot for this time. Great, and thanks for all you guys have done so far. You're doing awesome with your collection.